Hi, I am Sibal. I'm a PhD student at Kent University at ACP Research Group. My research focuses on the pretreatment of plastic waste, basically aiming to remove all heterogeneous substances causing recycling problems. For example, colorants, additives, adhesives, uh, coatings, and presence of multilayers. Colored plastics are pr uh, processed together. We obtain black extrudates, like this one, for example, which can be mainly used for downcycled applications, like street benches or garbage bags. In order to allow the extrudates to be used in high-end high applications and finally in close-up recycling, we need to remove all these heterogeneous substances. Once we have colored plastic packaging, for example, a label from a beverage, first we analyze its chemical structure through different analytical techniques and then we perform de-inking on it. One of the advantages of our de-inking method is that we can also remove nasty printing inks from plastic films, for example UV-based inks. These inks are chemically bonded on the plastic surface, therefore it's not so easy to get rid of them. For example, here I have some polyethylene plastic films printed with UV-based printing inks. I bring these plastic films in contact with the de-inking medium. As you see, it starts to de-ink in magnitude of seconds. In addition to inks, presence of multilayers also impedes the plastic recycling. Multilayers increase the functionality of plastic packaging, for example, keeping chips longer time crispy or keeping beverages without spoiling. However, as each polymer has, own, has its own specific processing properties, they cause incompatibility issues during recycling. In our delamination process, we selectively dissolve the adhesive or the tie layers which are used to laminate the similar polymer structures without causing any dissolution or degradation of the main polymer components. For example, here I have a chocolate packaging. It's a multilayer packaging composed of polyethylene and polypropylene films. After our delamination process, we can recover each layer separately. In another example, like MIG, uh, MIG boxes, they contain five different layers. And after delam our delamination process, we can recover each layer separately without any dissolution or degradation. In addition to plastic packaging, we also investigate de-inking, delamination and de-inking or removal of coating for other type of plastic films and also on textiles. For example, here I have water pipes composed of three layers, two layers of polyethylene. In between, there is aluminum layer. And after our delamination process, we can recover each layer separately. Regarding the textiles, we take different strategies in order to eliminate the problems hindering their recyclability. For example, the textiles used for fluoric purposes consist of different polymer layers. Here we could delaminate them by dissolving one of the fibers existing in a lower quantity in the textile blend. In another example, as you see here, fishing nets, the coating is the main hurdle affecting their recyclability. Thus, we first shredded them, as you see here, and then we brought in contact with the solvent media to selectively remove the coating without dissolving or degrading the main polymer. Here is the result, pure white polymer fibers, which can be used again to make another fishing net and make them in an intended color. In another textile example, uh, for example, shirts or panties, Generally, the presence of elastan is the hurdle affecting their recyclability. Here, we selectively dissolve the elastan and while keeping other polymer fibers like polyamide, wool, cotton intact. You can also visualize the removal of elastan from textile blends through some images. As you see here, this is before the treatment. This the small ones uh, representing the polyamide fibers and the larger, thicker ones representing the elastan fibers. And after we perform our selective elastan dissolution, as you see here through some images, we could selectively dissolve elastan fibers from polyamide fibers. 
after the treatment of panties, here is the solution containing elastan and here is the retentate mainly composed, on, composed of polyamide fibers. We can also quantify how much elastan dissolves in the filtrate by using different analytical techniques. For example, TG coupled with infrared spectroscopy. Based on our developments, we will also build a pilot plant via Catalyst and Moonshot program so that we can also test our developments on a larger scale. The pilot plant will be placed in capture building in Ghent. Thanks to that, we can be in close collaboration with other researchers and industries as well.